Security First Corp. Safety through knowledge. How to allow a website through firewall? Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you need to access a specific website, but your firewall is blocking it? This can be frustrating, especially if you know the website is safe. Let's dive into how you can allow a particular website through your Windows firewall. First, it's important to understand that firewalls don't block or allow websites directly. They control access based on programs and IP addresses. So, if you want to allow a website, you need to work around this limitation. One approach is to use the website's IP address. Here's how you can do it. Use the nslookup command in your command prompt to find the IP address of the website you want to allow. For example, if you want to allow example.com, you would type nslookupexample.com. Once you have the IP address, open your Windows Firewall settings. You can do this by searching for Windows Defender Firewall in your Start menu. Go to Advanced Settings on the left side. Here you'll create a new rule. Click on Outbound Rules and then New Rule on the right side. Choose Rule Type as Port and, and click Next. Select the protocol, usually TCP, and specify the local and remote ports if applicable. For a website, you typically need to allow HTTP port 80 and HTTPS port 443. Click Next and choose Allow the Connection. Click Next again and select the network types you want to apply this rule to. Domain, private, public. Give your rule a name, like Allow Example Website, and click Finish. Another method, especially if the website's IP address might change, involves using DNS settings. Here's an alternative. You can set up a hosts file to resolve the website's domain name to its IP address. However, this method can be cumbersome if the IP address changes. A more scalable solution is to use a DNS redirector or a service like OpenDNS, which allows you to set up a whitelist of allowed websites. This way, even if the website's IP address changes, the DNS service will handle the resolution correctly. For a more isolated setup, such as a PC used only for specific tasks like processing credit card transactions, you might want to consider setting up a proxy or modifying the DNS settings directly on the PC. This ensures that only the specified website can be accessed, while all other internet traffic is blocked. Remember, each method has its own set of considerations, especially regarding the dynamic nature of website IP addresses and the need for ongoing maintenance. By choosing the right approach, you can ensure that your firewall allows access to the specific website you need while keeping your system secure. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.